Welcome to a short video how to migrate intercompany integration solution for SAP Business One from B1IF 1.x to B1IF 2.0. For this migration, you have three mandatory notes to read. The first note is the troubleshooting in intercompany integration solution for SAP Business One in the section of version compatibility with SAP Business One. And then the overview note of patch level 32 for SAP Business One and a mandatory package upgrade of B1IF 2.0 for the patch level 32. First, we go to the troubleshooting guide for intercompany solution to the version compatibility with SAP Business One. Here you can find patch level 32. It's related to 9.3, patch level 9, all versions. At the back, you can jump to the overview note of the patch level 32. Inside of this note, you can find an important uh, notice how you can migrate or how you have to migrate B1IF 2.0 that it's compatible with patch level 32. We jump now to this note where it described what you have to do. Inside of this note, you can find a correction ICO patch level 32 zip file which you have to download and then to import to the integration framework. On the bottom, you can download this correction file and then you have to log in to the integration framework. Inside of the integration framework, we go to maintenance, zip import, choose file, submit. Now we have imported the correction that we need for intercompany solution patch level 32. To activate the service, we go now to version 2 of integ integration framework and start the related services. We go to monitoring, service monitor. Inside here, we have three services and we have to start the middle one and then the other one are also started. So we deactivate the service and we activate the service. Then we can close and after the refresh of the site, we can see all the services are started now. Now we are able to upgrade or migrate in the company solution from 1.x to 2.0. We log into in the company solution Inside of the SLD, we have to create a category. And then we have to move all business one companies to this new created category. Here we put in all companies we have inside of the landscape. Now we can change to set up landscape. We change here on the top the SLD category to our intercompany AU. And then we can upgrade to B1IF 2.0. Now the upgrade is done and we have to restart the integration service. Restart the proxy services as well. Now we can refresh the intercompany page. Log in. Go to setup again. Go to the landscape. And you can see we have upgraded to B1IF 2.0. We have to choose here now our category where we migrated and now we can deploy the solution again
the solution is deployed now. The next step is we have to select a default SLD category. We can save that. And from now on, on every single step of the configuration, we have to choose this category that we work only on this category. Now you are also able to set up multiple landscape in one installation. The last step of the deployment is open the key mapping, go to object name, object ID, select the currency and save the currency. You can close the window. Now we are on, at the end of the migration and you can run now the intercompany integration solution on B1IF20. For more information, you can open the help portal for intercompany integration solution. There you find additional documentation. Thanks and goodbye.